What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and, of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. Coming at you with another new video, day number 1400. Pretty crazy. What is going on? So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. So this comes from Brian. Okay, so he says, uh, hey brother, couldn't find an email because he originally sent it through Facebook. Don't send messages through Facebook, guys. Send them through pay to drive stories at gmail.com. The story the girl gave you the other day about DoorDash changing our tips is correct. I also have a friend who is a general manager of a restaurant that told me the exact same thing. She had a dasher come in and the tips were like $30. But when she put it in, the tips were zero. So she is correct about that. So I'm not exactly sure, Brian, what which particular message you're talking about or which particular particular video, because I've done a few that are similar. Um, I'm not sure if you're referring to the one where uh, it was the Outback Steakhouse, where for some reason, certain these, these restaurants that have their own apps, right? You can order through the app, you can put in a tip, and it will dispatch a DoorDash driver uh, and give them $3. And then whatever tip you put into the app, not the DoorDash app, the particular restaurant app, in this case, it was Outback Steakhouse. It was uh, where the, the restaurant was taking the tip that was meant for the driver and is giving that to the staff at the restaurant because they're saying, well, our staff works really hard. Our dining rooms have been closed for such a long time, so we've been, you know, missing out on money. So the driver doesn't deserve that tip. We do. The, you know, our staff, uh, you know, deserves that money instead, which is not who it was intended for. Okay, as delivery drivers, as independent contractors, we use our own vehicles. We use our own gas. It's our own maintenance. It's our own, our own wear and tear on our vehicles. Okay. You know, and, and I mean, you can even go as far as saying it's our own health on the line too. So if that's, Brian, if that's what you're referring to, yeah, that's been a real issue, a huge issue, okay? Uh, other places that I've heard that are, are having issues with this, Panera Bread was another one. I believe Chipotle was another one as well. So again, we can hope and pray as much as we want that DoorDash will make a change to help the dashers in this particular situation. But at the same time, I, I, I can't see it happening anytime soon because, you know, it doesn't affect them. If it doesn't affect their bottom line, they're like, I guess they ask a few questions. They're like, listen, uh, Tony Shu, you know, dashers are very upset. Why are they upset? Well, they're not getting the tips that are meant for them at certain restaurants when customers place orders through their app. Okay, is it hurting us? Not really. Are the orders being delivered? Most of them are. Okay, well then don't worry about it. Just let it go. They'll get over it. Or they'll quit and we'll get somebody else to, to be a patsy and, and take those orders. I mean, it seems to be, that seems to be like the mentality of the people over at DoorDash. For the exception of these challenges, these little bonuses that they've been trying to offer to certain drivers. But again, it's only to certain drivers. It's not to all the drivers and dashers out there, you know? So that's that's where it becomes a, a bit of a problem, you know? So Brian, to, to, you know, respond to what you're saying again, if that's what you're talking about, yeah, absolutely. And this is just another confirmation of that. But if it's something else, uh, shoot me a message back or leave a comment down below. Or if you're in the chat, speak up and just say, oh, no, 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 Pete, I meant this. Because again, it was a little bit vague what you were saying. But uh, yeah, I'm curious if the GM who's um, who you're friends with at that restaurant, is it an Outback Steakhouse? Is it a Panera Bread? Is it a Chipotle? What kind of restaurant is it? I'm curious to know, um, you know, what kind of a location it is. Because again, like I said, these companies, they, they need to do something to fix these problems. But again, if it does not hurt their bottom line, 
it's not a high priority to them. It's just the way it is. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality. So with that being said, guys, if you ever want to send me something, do not send it through Facebook. Uh, send it through pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Uh, or you guys can send me a message through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. And anybody who signs up on there, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels. Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. So with that being said, everybody, sign up down below, links in the description. And of course, I hope you are all saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. Uh, just use the link at the bottom of all my descriptions down below. Click that real quick. Just stop the video if you want. Make sure you download it right now today. You download it to your smartphone. Any kind of phone will work. You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today my friends. That's right. And of course, if you want one of these awesome, all right, all right, all right, all right shirts, you can get your own over at paytodrivestore.com where we have everything on sale every single day. All right. So we have lots of designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. So go check that out. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. Leave a comment right now saying END450, END450. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and of course pay to drive logs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one peace out everybody be excellent to each other